All right, Coach, um, it seemed as if uh, you guys <clears throat> uh, had some things going there in the first half, and it just seemed like the, the turnovers kind of changed the momentum um, in the first half. Definitely. You know, uh, we've been dodging a bullet for the last couple of weeks, and, uh, you know, and it finally caught up with us. You know, uh, we ran into a, a really, really good football team in Alabama State, and uh, they ran the football well, very good on both sides of the ball, especially up front. And I thought they really got after us on the defensive front and also on the offensive front. <coughs> If you could point to one or two things that you feel like um, was um, instrumental, instrumental in them getting things, some things going, what would you point to um, um, in this game? Well, I thought once they got their running game going, it really kind of put us on our heels a little bit, and uh, we, we tried to regroup, and uh, they, did a, they did a really good job of mixing in uh, some of their screen game and also uh, some of their passing game with the running game. So it was kind of tough for us uh, because they were very, very good up front. <coughs> Then on the other side of the ball, I thought the turnover was really hurt us. You know, the one right before halftime that gave them the touchdown really kind of, you know, hurt us a little bit and put us even more so on our heels. Did you see anything um, this week? Were you worried at all this week in practice, um, looking at the film, seeing how you guys match up with them? Is that something you try to uh, relate to your team, knowing that um, you got a big game coming up um, next week uh, in the Bayou Classic? Try to keep them focused. Well, we, we talked about it. Uh, and, you know, and that's something that, you know, I've always talked about. You know, we've been getting so many pats on the back for the last uh, three weeks or so, uh, but I've maintained, you know, what I've continued to say, you know, that we haven't been playing well. Uh, we've just been fortunate, you know, to get some breaks and make some plays, uh, but we still have been turning the ball over, you know, for the last three weeks. And, you know, eventually it's going to come back and catch you, you know, and, and they did a good job of capitalizing on all our mistakes. And uh, the teams in the past just did not, you know, so mm – -hmm. Um, you know, I say all the time, it's about us, and it's about us doing the right thing. You know, uh, we have what it takes, you know, but we have to execute, and that's what it boiled down to. What did you tell them in the, in the locker room after the end? I know some guys are maybe disappointed, but what was your message to them? Well, the first thing is uh, let's get our head up, you know, uh, let's evaluate uh, what we have done individually uh, as a person to, uh, to, to maybe cause this and, and just make sure that, that we, we pull together as a team and uh, evaluate yourself, and then let's come back and go to work. You know, we're st we still have everything in front of us, what we want. Uh, it's just a matter of us making sure that we correct those mistakes. And I think they hear me a little clearer now. Uh, you know, because sometimes when, <coughs> excuse me, when you're getting so many pats on the back, you know, you, your hearing is a little cloudy, you know, but I think, uh, you know, a little bit of humble pie, you know, kinds of, kind of uh, puts you in a position where now you hear clearly, you know, what's being said. So. I think it's good for us. Uh, you never like to lose, you know, but, um, you know, the good thing is we're fortunate to lose a ball game and still be in position at what we want. So we just got to go back to the drawing board and go to work. How does that help you refocus? Uh, you got a couple of weeks to come back to, uh, to the Classic. Uh, what is this? You, like, you talked about it being humble pie. Mm -hmm. What does this do for you guys? Well, I think it, I think it helps us. You know, uh, I think it puts us in a position where we have to, uh, really evaluate, you know, ourselves, you know, and, and then just go back to work. You know, uh, uh, this is a tough league, you know, and week in, week out, you got to come to play. And, uh, you know, we didn't come to play tonight. <coughs> seeing their running back, uh, Michael Cyrus, uh, um, on film and, and seeing him up close and personal um, mm -hmm. today, um, how dynamic was he? He is a very exceptional football player, but even more so, too, uh, along with him is that offensive line. Uh, they do a great job of really coming off the ball and really, uh, you know, blocking. And, and uh, you know, him along with those, those guys up front, I mean, um, you know, it's a tough catch, you know. And, uh, um, you know, we just got to go back to work, go back to the drawing board and, and then get things going. Talk a little bit about your seniors. I know senior night, um, they're a long way from where they were last year. Right. Uh, they should keep their heads up. Uh, just talk a little bit about what you told your seniors to, uh, tonight. Well, it's tough for them because – uh, you know, they look at it and they take the approach that this is their last opportunity in Robinson Stadium. Uh, so that's a little tough for them to swallow because, um, you know, for the rest of their lives, they'll know that the last home game they didn't win, you know. But, you know, we owe it all to the senior class. This senior class has really been the glue that's kept this whole thing together. Um, they still have a chance to, to go out on top. Um, it's just time to regroup, you know, and, and any time you – uh, you put on your heels like this, you know, you have to regroup and go back to work and we just got our tail whooped. That's just that bottom uh, bottom line. You know, we got our tail whooped and we got to go back to work.
What does this um, this loss mean going into um, Bayou Classic, and how much more important is that game? Well, it means a lot, you know, uh, um, uh, but I think it means a lot more for us, you know, because, uh, um, you know, you hate to lose, but we need it. We need it, you know, a good kick in the butt to wake us up, you know, and uh, it's just some things that I've talked about, you know, and uh, and then, you know, I've been uh, somewhat criticized for giving my team a, a bad grade, but I see the film, you know, and a lot of people see the points, but I see the film, and now I believe that they are starting to understand that. And, I think it would be better for them. Appreciate it, Coach. All right.